Hi, welcome to RTC. In this video, we'll show you how to easily remove your pin on Windows 11, so basically you're kind of tired of having to authenticate every time you power on your PC and since no one else is using it you decide to remove the pin. Before we begin we would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Now let's start. So when you press the Windows button then go and select the settings and in the settings on the left pane you choose account. Then on the right side, when you select sign in options and then you head straight to the pin category. Then you notice the remove pin is grayed out. This is where it gets really frustrating cause you simply can't remove your pin. But here's the trick. This happens because you're signed in with a Microsoft account instead of a local account. So if you want to remove any authentication method, simply do this. Go back to accounts then select your info from the right pane. Then in the next slide under account settings, you have an option highlighted in blue that says sign in with a local account instead, and simply click it. You will then be asked if you really want to switch to a local account and you will be required to verify your current identity in order to be allowed to make that switch. Here simply input your current Microsoft account pin or password and press OK. Afterwards you will have to edit your local account info. So basically this is like a new account but it's not strictly tied up to the Microsoft account. Now you can decide on the username, and please note that if you want to have no authentication requirement when you power on your PC or boot windows, simply leave the password boxes empty. Just don't write anything then simply click on next. You will then be signed out of your Microsoft account and then sign back into the new local account. That's it. Now if you go back to the account sign in options. You will see that you need to set up a new password to even have access to setting up a PIN. But always make sure you're the only one using this PC. Having no authentication method off will leave your PC vulnerable to other users. So that was it. If you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable Windows tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. This is Randy from RTC and I will see you in the next video.